This video is sponsored by Linode. Use the link in the description to get a $100 60 day credit. All right, hello everybody, this is Tekka. We have a quick one for you today. I just wanted to show you this absolutely beautiful uh, terminal emulator that I happened to stumble across. Uh, yes, I am in Mac OS at the moment, but this works perfectly fine in Linux and Windows. And this is called Tabby. If I go ahead, let's bring in this uh, GitHub page real quick. You can see Tabby, the terminal emulator for a more modern age. I do have to say it does really hold that standard when you actually act, interact with it, you will probably agree. There's a whole bunch of features, it's very customizable. Of course, I have it open over here. If I just do like command D for command down, it's gonna open up a, another instance. It's tiling, so that is super cool. If I go ahead and hold down command and shift, I can actually drag these around. So let's say I wanted to go with the split tiling instead. So you do have that standard kind of tiling terminal emulator uh, functionality that you would expect. And of course you can use hotkeys and everything to manipulate that. If we go ahead and jump into our settings, this is where you're gonna get a lot of the stuff that you can change around. So you have your shell integration, you can enable analytics, set automatic updates. Some of this stuff you will do on a welcome tab that will open up. You do that, you close it out, it'll restart, and then you're good to go. Now what I was just talking about is the hotkeys. So here you have all of your different hotkeys and you could go ahead and configure and customize them as you see fit. When it comes to switching tabs, moving those tiled windows around within the actual emulator, whatever you need to do, you can configure it all here. Now, one thing that's really cool and probably one of the most important things when you are uh, working in your terminal emulator is how it looks. We have a huge amount of customization options. I'm using a custom version of the uh, Espresso Libre color scheme, but j just look at this. Ooh. We have a whole heck of a lot of things to choose from. I'm only halfway down. We could keep going and going and going and going. Whole bunch of things. There's going to be a color scheme that you will like to use. Now, hotkeys and color schemes are super cool, but you know what's even cooler than those things is plugins. Right here within the actual terminal, they have all the integrated plugins that you could go ahead and get, such as title control. They have uh, fit to screen, Docker, I uh, saw a GitHub integration built in, sync config, search and browser. If we go up here, they have Clippy, clickable IPS, just a lot of little cool things to help out with the functionality of this emulator. And of course we have our SSH options here. We have vault, so you can set a master passphrase. Window, we have our window settings, compact paper, um, opacity, so we can bump that if we want to. And I did notice on some of these appearance settings, you actually have to, uh, one of the cons with this is um, at least on the Mac OS version, I'm not sure about the other versions yet, but changing the color scheme, you have to change it, close out the terminal, reopen it to see the change. But that's the only real negative that I've uh, found thus far. If we go right here, we have the configuration file, so you can just <laughs> actually edit that config file within the application. So you don't actually have to open up a terminal emulator and nano CD into wherever that config actually is. It's just right over here, ready to go for you to edit, save and apply. And you could uh, show the defaults, of course, which is nice. But before we proceed, I would like to thank Linode for sponsoring this video. They are the largest independent cloud service provider. I've been using them to host techhat.tv and any other thing that I want to host on the public web I have been using the node for has been absolutely fantastic. You can rent GPUs, you can rent dedicated processors, there's a whole bunch you could do. And it's depending on what you do, it might be free for a little bit for you because you use that link in the description, you get $100 60 day credit. So now what I wanna do, one of the cool features about this is their SSH uh, profiles and connections. So if we look over here, we can open up new tabs, but if we look next to it, we have our profiles and connections. Here you can see all the different things that you could do all the different uh, terminal emulating instances you can log into. We have dash, bash, uh, ZSH, and more, but I want an SSH. So what we're gonna need to do is actually make a new profile because SSH is under their advanced profiles. So let's go new profile uh, where you want to do a SSH connection. You can kind of see some of the other options you have here. So let's go ahead and go there. Uh, let's call this one just techhut.tv. Okay, let's set the password for this connection. 
hit OK. And we do have other ports and advanced options, but everything at default should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you can now see that we have an ungrouped connection for TechHut.tv. And all I should need, need to do is hit that. And boom, we are connected. Easy as that. So that is a wonderful feature, something that I'm going to be using quite frequently. We have SFTP. If I go ahead and click on this, will you look at that? We have a, uh, a really nice graphical type file manager where we could go through and run through some of the things on our system. Definitely out of anything that that's the, I'm going to really use that because I've been really getting into home labbing. Um, I have a couple different Linodes with websites and next cloud instances and things like that running overall super excited this is that Linode instance so like a sudo apt upgrade there we go so now I'm managing that and I could go ahead go back to my settings and configure things while I do some uh, system administration work cool so there, there's definitely a lot I did not talk about with this I'm not going to dive too deep into the nitty gritty um, that will be up to you for further exploration. I've definitely found my use cases for it. The tiling, the SSH profiles, uh, it's awesome. If you do use SSH profiles, make sure your actual computer is difficult to get into. You wouldn't want people to gain access to this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so encrypt your installations. With all of that said, I do hope you have an absolutely magnificent day. Big thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are truly awesome. And thank you to Linode for sponsoring this video. Uh, with all that, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.